The former cop accused in the suitcase murders was in a Kenosha courtroom this morning. It was a preliminary hearing for a murder charge. Stephen Zelich accused of killing Jenny Gomez at a motel in Kenosha back in 2012. And good afternoon once again, everyone. I'm Vince Vetrano. Investigators think Zelich kept Gomez's body in his refrigerator for months and then dumped her in Walworth County earlier this summer. Zelich is also accused of killing a woman in Minnesota, but so far no charges have been filed in connection with that death. Yona Gavino was in court in Kenosha today where Zelich made a brief appearance. Stephen Zelich waived his right to a preliminary hearing, but his lawyer isn't going into detail why. Still, all eyes are glued to the story of the suitcase murders. Stephen Zelich is accused of killing Jenny Gomez. Court documents say he admitted to meeting her and Laura Simonson through bondage websites, and they died during sex. Zelich told investigators he drove around with their bodies in his trunk for months before dumping them in Walworth County. We have the opportunity now uh, having gotten past the preliminary hearing where we can finally get the police reports. I have the reports from Walworth County. Kenosha County is going to have many of the same reports, but they're going to have a number of their own reports. Smith filed a request for a substitution of a new judge, the Honorable Bruce Schrader, because he feels he has more experience in a case like this. I will say that uh, Mr. Uh, Zelich uh, presented a very reasoned um, uh, thought process concerning the uh, preliminary hearing. I advise uh, all my clients of the pros and cons. Um. Zelich's attorneys tell me there is no signs yet that authorities in Minnesota are building a case around the death of Laura Simonson, but he suspects they're waiting to see what happens in Wisconsin before they cross that bridge. In Kenosha, Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. Thanks a lot, Yona. We are still.